Hey there, sheep doers, and welcome to another Blood Bowl 2 video. Unfortunately, the last tips and tricks uh, for uh, kind of team specific stuff. Um, we're doing the Lizard Men. I've done all of the other ones. You can check them out. I'm sure there'll be a. a uh, annotation up in the video at some point for all of the tips and tricks and hints videos uh, and Blood Bowl 2 as, 2 as well if you want to see more Blood Bowl 2 videos and yeah I mean you know you can always just check it for yourself go to my playlists etc it's on the front page of my of my YouTube as well um, so yeah let's uh, start off as we should carry on by making a team now the Lizardmen have multiple ways they can go to be honest uh, as you can see, it says, highly mobile team, many play powerful players. The Kroxkar is an excellent big guy with good marking, easy to immobilize Saurus. Uh, no player is expendable. Do not expect passing game. These are all pretty much true. Skill level is fairly low. They're a bashy team. They're fairly simple. Now, and there we go. Create new. Okay, so first off, uh, you have three ways you can go with your rerolls. Uh, you can go four, you can go three, and you can go uh, two. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ignore the rerolls for now. Um, I'd say for the most part, you probably won't be starting with an apothecary. Most likely. Uh, so what you can go with uh, in regards to lineup is you can go uh, six sources maximum. Uh, and then five skinks. There you go. So you've got the. Uh, as you can see, the sources are not agile at all. Starting out, you will not. You know, if if you're playing, for example, a Skaven, who sacrifices his lineman to hold up your Saurus, then you know, then that six of your players held up, and they've you've only got the skinks left. They only have two strength. Uh, you know, it is it is possible for a Skaven team to. In a way, out bash you. You know, if they get lucky, you know, your guys only have armor value seven. They can, you know, knock your skinks about, get touchdowns, and just hold up your sources with their linemen. Uh, same with the Bretonians, you know, um, also another option. Um, uh, you do have the Crocs Scar, but in this, uh, in this setup, you can see here, uh, then you go with uh, three rerolls. And, you know, you, you can either put some in cheerleaders, coach assistant, etc. I'd advise you to save it and uh, just make sure you get that apothecary. You know, if you lose, uh, then you won't, you, you possibly won't get that much money. You may not be able to get your apothecary right out of the bat. But that is uh, one of the uh, setups you can get. Now, okay. Uh, let's just... That's unfortunate. I didn't realise I'd have to... Uh, so I have to go through and sell all of them again. Okay, so yeah, uh, as I said, I'll just say how many rerolls you, you get. I won't go forward and actually do it, because I've got two other... Uh, I've got two other sets to go for. Uh, so this is kind of the standard full Saurus basic team. Uh, so you get all your Sauruses out, you start them leveling up. And uh, one of the first skills you can pick up is Break Tackle. You know, if you get one source with Break Tackle, that uses your strength instead of agility to dodge out of a tackle zone, which can be really, really useful. And I'd advise you to get at least one source with it before you get block. Does that guy have a... Oh, he's got like a red eye. That's really cool. Uh, sorry. Uh, so yeah, the next setup you can go for is basically uh, Reroll Heavy. Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, four rerolls, uh, and you go with five sources and six skinks, uh, and there you go. That's a team, and then you get uh, four rerolls as well. Now, the reason this is such a good one to go for is you have almost your maximum number of sources. Uh, you know, you have the skinks. You know, they can be very useful, um, as it says, small agile. And you can kind of dodge them through fairly easily. They've got they start with dodge as well, very useful. Um, and basically, this is more of a scoring team. You know, you use your sources still to bash, but at the end of the day, you're gonna be um, you're you're gonna be focusing mainly on the fact that you've got the, those rerolls necessary to pick up the ball, to run, to uh, to get touchdowns. 
Uh, it's it's a good team, but um, you know, if you're choosing the lizard men purely for their bashing, I wouldn't advise it. There you go. And then the last one is a two reroll one, and it's so you can get this dude. Yep. So you can get the croxagar. Croxagall, crox, croxagall, croxagall. Um, oh, that that looks quite cool, doesn't it? I like the. Uh, I guess you've only got two, but. Yeah, they both, they both look quite cool. Um, and yeah, uh, so this guy, the reason he's so good is because he's only got boneheaded. And that's on a roll of one. So, uh, basically, basically what this means is he is very, very bashy. He's got the prehensile tail as well. You can see it there. Uh, it's a mutation technically, but he does start with it. He can't He can't pick up mutations, as you can see. He only has strength when he when he levels up, but uh, opposing players must subtract one from the d6 reroll. So you know he and also again he's got thick skull. You know really useful. Um, the loner obviously is, is not great. You're not going to be able to use rerolls on him, but he's a very very bashy guy, and he yeah he he's he's one of the stronger big guys uh, in Blood Bowl. So you go with this, and then obviously uh, you want to go with. Because this is this is going to be a bashy team. There you go. That's 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 the lineup. One croc score, six Sauras, four skinks, and two rerolls. Now, the thing about this, the thing about this is, is you know, it is a valid. Oh, I messed that up. And again, you could put the uh, you could put the points into fan factor, coach assistant, cheerleader, and etc. But I would more. Let's go back into this. I would more advise you to hold off on that and to save up for your apothecary because you do have a lot of high value players in this. You've got all your Saurus, you've got your Crocscar as well. You're going to start leveling them up. You know, they will take time uh, unless you get lucky and get a lot of injuries. So, you know, you're going to be relying on your Skinks a lot as well. So, yeah, do keep that in mind. Okay, so that is, yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the Lizardmen teams. Um, I would almost advise this one, really. Uh, you know, it makes them very bashy. It, it you know, the the re rolls mean that you're going to lose starting off. But as long as that's not a problem for you, then you know it should be fine. Uh, you can see this is this is the team I made. It's uh, the six sources, uh, five skinks, and uh, three re rolls. Just purely because uh, I tend to gravitate more towards. Uh, passing and scoring than I do to being full on bashy, even with even with my uh, other teams. Unfortunately, this is my this is, this is the only game I played as the lizard men. Uh, again, you've seen it before, and uh, you know you can see like where I'm sure there was a yeah casualties KOs. You know I inflicted no. You can see here like 42, 42 blocks, forty seven blocks. He inflicted two KOs, one casualty. Um, I got one more armor break than him. Um, it was it was not the best match for me, to be honest. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just look at it quickly. I'll I'll talk a little bit about the lizard men. You know, like I'm again, lizard men isn't a team that I played very much in Blood Bowl One. It's not really one that I I focused on. So I'm not like massively up. I do want to play them. I think I may remake a team and run them in my league. Uh, uh, you know, I may remake the uh, clever goal and go with the two rerolls and etc. You know, not trying to win, trying to build a team that will eventually be strong. You know, I'd like to, and here's a uh, soap on twenty one, who kicked my butt in this dark elves, dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, the the dark the got dark elf team it's really a team that can explode quickly and i've actually played dark elf teams you know i had a few lucky rolls and so on and so forth but I, I i've played a dark elf team where i have literally almost turned them bashy you know like the 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 combination of their agility and their decent armor value and just their their kind of starting skills with the four blitzers and the witch elves and everything like that meant that they were very very uh, very dangerous, very 
not ma not not completely and utterly bashy, just bashy enough that I could injure a team, I could mess them up, and then I could uh, kick their butts a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, let's go through. You've already seen this game if you've seen the Lizard Man uh, video I posted up. I haven't had time uh, when I'm and you can see like I I immediately get back a little bit here. He's got the kickoff, I believe. Yeah, he's got he's got the kickoff, uh, so I immediately get back a little bit. Um, I think, yeah, he got, he actually has four re-rolls, and I think he only has two blitzers, so it was a really interesting team. I believe this is one of the, one of those instances, uh, Double Skull Sheepdog, of course, you know, it happens a lot to me. I got quite unlucky. Um, and so there, there's, there's, there's that in the, in the offing, is, is basically, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure this was a fairly unlucky game. <clears throat> There we go. So, you know, starting off, that's actually not too bad for me. Because, you know, minus one and passing, that's that's kind of, you know, being, being a bit harsher to the Dark Elves. Uh, you know, it's not the, the best thing for them. But, uh, you know, they are still Elves. They can still dodge and be ridiculous, you know, run that running game, short passes, etc. And, you know, starting off with one dice block, it's block. Again, like, this is one of the problems you're going to face. I'm going to switch it around again like this. This is one of the problems you are going to face as a uh, as a, as a lizard man team. With your sauruses, with your skinks, with your crocsigar even, you do not have block. So, uh, for example, with the crocsigar uh, full strength kind of starting lineup, you're still going to get turnovers because you want to save those. Uh, look at that first. And there's something with me, and you know, like this dude, these guys. What's their armor value? Nine. So you need to roll a ten or over to break their armor. Not only that, uh, we both both of our armor got broken. He got KO'd first turn. I've already lost a Saurus. So you know, that's a good start for me. Why does it keep switching views? That that is bizarre. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, th this is this is the thing, is I didn't get any injuries, you know, like, you'd expect at least a few KOs, but I think, but I seem to remember, and, you know, there, again, uh, no block, uh, it's an armor break, no, no knockout, no injury, unfortunately, but, yeah, th this is the thing, is, you can see, like, I have three rerolls, I'm not wanting to kind of mess up, and and use my rerolls because I know that I've got to use them for pickups. Like the best I have is my skinks with three agility, but they are extremely um, prone to injuries and to getting knocked out. I only have four of them. Wait, no, I have five. Of them. I I have five of them, but still, you know, even a even a dark elf team, especially with all those members, you know, a dark elf team is very dangerous for a lizard man team. They have four people with block. If they get in there and start bashing down your skinks, you're in danger of ending up. And they don't. What is this? Second turn? First turn KO. Second turn injury. Both sources. I'm down two sources against a Dark Elf team. This is not good for me. And yeah, you, you can kind of understand why I lost this game. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, what you're going to be wanting to do is you're going to be wanting to... Jesus, look at those rolls. 5-5, five, 6-5, five, five, casualty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is this is this is pretty much what you're gonna be wanting to do. Uh, as uh, as this this is the best uh, option for a high elf team. Uh, for a for a dog health team, having or any team really against Lizardburn, getting knocking out their sources. But what you're going to want to do uh, in general is playing against sources, uh, playing against lizard men and uh, and that kind of thing is you're going to be wanting to take out their skinks. If you can take out all of their skinks, and with the with the Crocsigar on the team, you know, the lineup I gave you guys, uh, there is very literally only four skinks on a starting team. If you can take out those, those four skinks, all, all the Lizardman team is going to be left with is... Uh, sources and a Crocsigar, all of who have one agility. That's a terrible situation for them. They, unless they get massively lucky, they're not picking up that ball. Even even if they had four rerolls, they're probably not picking up that ball. 
you know, the only choice they have is trying to keep you off the ball and hopefully getting a skin back. Um, so yeah, this is this is this is a fairly painful game to watch. Um, let's just skip ahead a little bit. You can see uh, it's it's not the best, um, and, and I do apologise. It's not the best game to show you the kind of tactics and stuff for the lizard men. Just purely, you know, just purely because you know, obviously I lost three nil. Uh, you know, I I'd, I'd already lost two sources starting off. I seem to remember uh, the that this guy refused to get up until possibly until the second half. Um, but yeah, it it was it was it was a it was a really rough one, you know. Your your hopes with the lizard team, uh, unless you're going much more skinky, uh, and you can see the dodges I'm forced to make and etc. Here, uh, yeah, unless you're going uh, very skinky, very very uh, touchdowny, uh, what you want to be doing all the time is you want to be um, getting them injuries, and you can see. I actually got very slightly lucky there. Obviously, not going to use my reroll for that, even though possibly I should have. I, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I was blitzing and stuff, but it would be would would possibly have been worth picking up that ball because elves, basically because elves. Again, you know, luck goes both ways. Got reroll, so that's not too bad. And yeah, you can see like all it, what what he mainly needs to do: blitz here, knock this uh, skink out of the way. That's fine. Uh, uh, bring another player out. He, he's got this uh, this block here as well. Uh, he actually made a mistake uh, in that he was going to pass, but he didn't realise you know the blitz. And if you blitz, you can't pass. But uh, look at those guys; they look so cool. I love the dark elves. I love how they look in Battle Two. And there's the clones. Uh, bring out the clones and see. Yep, he's he's still knocked out. Oh, he's still knocked out to hell. Uh, so I've got four sauruses left. Uh, I've got you know five skinks. It's not too bad, but it's a definite disadvantage. You know, uh, he has a two 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 person kind of lead on me, as it were, and that basically means that I have less chances to use the fact that I've got these guys with four strength um you know i've got less i've got less chance to kind of really deal with that now all he needs to do is hold up my guys with his linemen you know hope that i don't get any injuries or ko's you know like turn the game around and he's pretty much set you know he's he's sorted for for the rest of the game he'll be able to uh take take up my defensive guys here you know i don't want to be putting my skinks on the front line because the likelihood is he'll put his blitzers on there and bash them to crap. You know, it, it's not a good position. There are there are things you can do, but at the end of the day, you have to hope for some damage going. On. You know, for some KO, for some uh, armor break injuries. Okay, so we're just gonna go forward a little bit. You can see uh, there's a stun, there's a knockdown. Um, I, as I said, I didn't even get a single KO uh, in, in this game, so, you know, unfortunately, I, I, st I kept playing, I was like, you know, I'm going to be playing a bashy game, I'm going to be trying to, to trying to knock him down, but uh, as we go on, you can see, he's putting pressure on my skinks, my lizard men, uh, my, my sources here are 4-2, to two, uh, 3 4 to 2 you know, you've got three guys here going off my skinks it's not a brilliant position to be in i've got two re-rolls left he's got two re-rolls left let's go forward a little bit you can see again his turn oh no sorry my turn still um he went after my my ball carrier i decided you know get him up there get a cage going on not the best situation but you know try and get that touchdown try and get a little SPP on anyone. And there goes that skink. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I seem to remember he only did the one uh he only did the one uh, injury, so none of my skinks got injured, which I found <laughs> intriguing. I wouldn't mind if if you know I got if I got one skink uh, knocked out if I got one skink uh, injured kind of thing you know I can, I can you can deal with that a lot better than your Saurus is going down 
and one reason to go for an apothecary if you can. Oh god. Uh, one reason for to go for an yeah, and you see here, like there is no way for for me to for me to really uh, effectively deal with this. Uh, you know, I've got one skink there. Uh, I need I need three on him. I need two on him and a blitz to get two dice. And he does have one, so it's a nasty one. And again, there you go. The dodge, the dodge reroll failed. The stunty, you know, all that kind of thing didn't work. So it was unfortunate. He, you know, gets another touchdown before the second half. And this, this is, I, as I remember, I seem to remember that he gets his touchdown. Yes, 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 yes. You're very muscly and uh, and elfy and everything. Well done, dude. Well done. Ugh. I, I, I guess the only thing I can be happy about is in the second half, I actually only let him score one touchdown. Uh, so yeah, dead and injured one. That dude was out for the match. Uh, not yeah, so knocked out. He still hasn't got up. It's his second chance to get up. He didn't get up. Uh, rolled one. Rolled one. And then as the turn done, let's go. Wait, what's this? Is this setting up for the next? And there, there we go. It it took him till the second half to wake up. Effectively, I was two players down, two Sauruses down, for the entirety of the first half. It was... Ah, uh, so annoying. And then, you know, the time the time I get the ball, it rains. Minus one to catch, intercept, or pick up rolls. Yay! That's yeah, fun. Uh, so you can see... Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got, 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 uh, got double skulls, I seem to remember, on my first roll. Uh, no, maybe not my first roll, sorry. Uh, but yeah, got double rolls pretty quickly. Didn't manage to pick up the ball. And then you can see what happens here. Knock down a, a skink or two. I mean, you know, like, what? Uh, managed to pick it up. Awesome. I think. I, no, no, didn't even have to use a reroll. Got lucky. Yeah. Um, but you can see, like, as as the uh, as the lizard men, the most important thing to do is to be very mindful of your sources. You need to be mindful of where they are, of where the ball is, you know. If you don't have them near the ball, you have to run the ball to them. You know, if you want to create a cage with it, uh, they're gonna get taken up by the enemy uh, team, by their cheap players who they don't mind losing, if, if necessary. Um, and you do, if you if you can, you obviously want to have them on on the cage you know, and this is another reason why the crocs gonna start is not you know you you guys if you've been watching my tip videos you know i don't advise the crocs I, I don't advise the big guy start i advise you to take him later however in this situation taking a crocs and one less skink is not a terrible idea and there's another ko uh Taking uh, one less skink, you know, going for less rerolls and taking a croc scar is not a terrible idea because it takes one of your sauruses off the front line. If you have six sauruses, you have two on the front line, on the line of scrimmage, along with the croc scar, and then four who can cage. So when you get the ball, you can form that uh, four point four strength, um, four point four strength cage. And that's really effective. So, you know, like, that is so much more difficult for a Dark Elf team to uh, to penetrate, to, to get in. You know, it's so hard for any team, even, even Orcs uh, to a certain extent with their Black Orcs and everything. Just purely because, you know, you've got a really strong team. Even if they have a troll, you're in the, in, in the, in the kind of technical sense of everything. You know, your troll, uh, their troll is less powerful than your Crocscar because the troll is very prone to stupidity, apparently. You know, so he's going to be useless more than you. If you knock him down first, then uh, he can be out the entire game if the if the player doesn't, if the uh, other opposing coach doesn't. Ah, and there we go. There we go, that happened. And, you know, again, unfortunate. Opens this up for him. You know, he's got a good chance. He's kind of, he's right in my cage here. He's right in my defenses. There's no real way to, uh... uh still, uh, you know, again, like, all he, all he needs to do here is juggle my skink around until he gets that, uh, that knockdown that he needs. 
So, you know, there you go. You see him carrying on. You know, he can push him then to here and here and here. He can push him all around this area until he gets that knockdown. Uh, and there it is. And depending on where the ball goes, you know, all he, he doesn't really need to reroll that. All he really needs to do is get someone up in here, you know, maybe make a throw over here. He could get a touchdown very quickly. I think he went for slightly uh, more, uh, direct route, uh, a slightly less direct route where he was knocking my sources down. And, uh, he's, dude, so many two dices and one dice uh, successes on my on my sources. When when the opposing elf team is going for bashy instead of going for the ball, that's when you know that it's it's been a bad game, <laughs> basically for for lizardmen. But yeah, so basically, as lizard men, that's you know you should. I I would advise you to concentrate on that. You know, I would I would definitely advise you to to not ignore the ball, but focus on taking the enemy team down. As long as you're not massively unlucky at the beginning and get uh, you know an injury and a KO on two sources in two in the first two turns, and you know the entire game you get nothing. Uh, no salt, obviously. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's just uh, some, sometimes you're going to have a bad game and you're just not going to get anything you need. It's unfortunate when it happens on the first game. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, you know, that that's the... He picks it up, of course. Uh, that That's the basic... Uh, that's the basic idea of, of the Lizardmen. I'd say bashy first, use your skinks as plus ones on, you know, the stronger opponents. Uh, use your skinks uh, as interference, uh, you know, kind of getting in the way of ball carriers, taking up those tackle zones. They're very good at dodging around, um, you know, and as time goes on, you can give them things like sure hands to really help you with the lack of rerolls. If you get a double on a skink, the leader is not a terrible choice. Um, with the Sauruses, uh, I, Saurus I? Saur with the Sauruses, uh, I would advise getting block and break tackle first. Uh, at least, as I said, at least one, I'd say maybe go with break tackle first. Uh, the rest of them get block. You know, block is very important starting off. Just purely because it stops you getting all those goddamn rerolls from the double skulls and boat downs. So yeah, you know that's. Uh, I don't have I don't have too much in the way of tip and tricks uh, again for the for the Elizabeth. Uh, you know I def I I definitely feel like I need more time with them to figure out you know what 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 the best choice is and uh, all 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 those kind of things. Uh, you know I just I, I ended up playing a, playing a very very defensive game. Um, oh, how I do, however, really enjoy the lizard pen, and I, I think it would be a good. Uh, there's my fail at going for it. Do I reroll? Yeah, I do. Do I fail again? Yeah, I do. Double ones, bitches. And then it goes right onto the touchdown line. Perfect place for him. You know, he's just like, oh, you know what I can do now? I can pick it up with that guy you knocked over. Yay! Wait, is he stunned? Oh no, he is stunned. Oh yeah, but uh, again, like. It's really not too bad. He can try. He can blitz him, try and knock him out. Even if he doesn't, he's got three rerolls. He can pick that. Shot. And there you go. I'm a little upset that I lost three nil to a dark elf team who uh, didn't have four blitzes even. And yeah, he he, he didn't really. And of course, knocked out doesn't wake up. Etc. Etc. Let's, uh, you know, that that that's the game basically. I tried to do a little bit of bashing. I failed because apparently I'm not allowed to bash. Uh, you'd be surprised. Like on my chaos team as well, on my orc team recently, I've been getting zero injuries or armor breaks. Like I, I've I've been I've been in a game where I've been, you know, I'm like two nil up or two nil down. Uh, you know, good or bad uh, in regards to whether I win the game. And still, 
just sitting there begging for one K of you know? <laughs> like, I've, I've got two guys down, and I'm just like, I just want a KO. That's all I want. I just want one KO. But yeah, uh, so you see, like, final thoughts on the Lizardman team. I mean, you know, be very aware of your skinks. You know, they're, they're easily injured, and if you lose all of them, then you will be unable to pick up the ball. Um, Bashi is actually an option. The big guy is a valid option starting off, especially if you don't mind losing to begin with. You know, you can make that bash happen, and you can get the uh, you can you can you can get the damage in on teams and level, you know start leveling up your sources and and so on and so forth. The big guy, the croc score, is a very valid option starting off. So you know, it's uh, it's it's one of those things. Uh, you know, they're very, they're a very viable team, especially as you start skilling them up. In a way, they're almost like Chaos, you know, they're, they've got their bash, uh, but they don't start really shining until you've given all of them a few skills. Um, you know, to, until you start giving the skinks skills to help you, uh, you know, kind of survive the, the ridiculous that can happen here, basically. And yeah, there, there, there we go. Let's uh, let's end this, please. Thank you, mate. Pray, praying for the praying for that for for the last one to be an injury or even a death. A death would have satisfied me greatly. It's better, uh, yeah, but no, it didn't happen. He rolled them both down. I don't know why he didn't re-roll that. He could have, you know, done a bit more. I think he felt like he'd given me a bit of a drubbing anyway. So, fair play, mate. Fair play. And you can see, you know, only one pass, but. Dark Elves, uh, and you can see here the SPP, I didn't get anything, I literally just got a man of the match and it was my, my guy who got injured on the second turn and literally did nothing uh, and yeah, that that is and that is a very clear uh, showing of the dangers of a Lizardman team, because you're never passing uh, if you don't get those touchdowns, if you don't get the occasional injury you will be very slow to level starting off. You know, you're going to be depending on those uh, MVPs and they don't level your guys up. So you can end up with a fair few players who just need that one injury or that one touchdown to level up. And it cannot happen, you know, like like you saw. And there goes the Dark Elf team, all kicking my button stuff. Um, so yeah, that that's uh, that's the Lizardmen guys. Um, ouch. That was an unfortunate game for me. Highest team value. I think my highest team value is the horrific disaster. It's the Skaven team. Oh god, I love Skaven. But yeah, that's all of the teams for now. I don't know who's coming out next. Let's just uh, delete these teams. Um, I don't know uh, who the next teams will be. I may do. I may do videos uh, on them before they come out. Not, not really, you know, like, not, not like, oh, these guys, you know, not, not, not like news videos, just talking about the team. I may just wait for them to come out and then do my tip and do, like, videos showing you how to play them, like, that kind of thing. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed these tip videos. If you have any ideas for other kind of tips and, you know, things you'd like to see, I'm thinking about making a very beginner video as well, you know, all those kind of things, you know, talking about the, what the dice rolls mean and, and how everything works and, and stuff like that. So do do give me ideas on what kind of tip stuff I'm doing. But from now on, I'm going to be doing matches. I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, similar things. So please please do come along to Twitch. Uh, check me out. You know, I'm gonna I'm always willing to talk and to give you tips and hints like live. Um, you know that kind of thing. I'd love to see you there. I hope you've enjoyed all of these tip videos. I really hope they've helped. I've had a lot of good feedback from it. So I'm I'm very pleased about that. Uh, thank you everyone who's kind of come into Twitch and been like, dude, you helped me, you know, change my team from a, from a team that always loses to a team that occasionally wins, or, you know, like, you help, you really helped me out be, build my team to be better, and, you know, people seem to enjoy my tactics, and, you know, the fact that I have the most horrific luck that anyone has ever seen in Blood Bowl. Double Skull Sheepdog. People have, people have started commenting on my YouTube videos saying, Hey, Double Skull Sheepdog, thanks for the tip videos, man. I love watching you fail and get unlucky. I'm like, cheers, cheers. I'm glad that nickname is stuck. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the videos. As I said, I hope they helped. I'll see you in the next one.
This is Double Skull Sheepdog.